What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. It's that time of the quarter again. Tesla just announced their Q3 2017 vehicle deliveries. This is one of the most important numbers to watch if you're following the company. It shows their production capabilities, shows how many people are buying the products. This is the best way to gauge the health of the consumer demand. And it was an epic quarter. So I'll just read through the numbers for you guys. They delivered 26,150 vehicles, of which 14,065 were the Model S and of which 11,865 were Model X, and they delivered 220 Model 3s. This was an all-time record for Model S and X deliveries, representing a 4.5% increase over Q3 2016, and an 18% increase over QG 2017. They still are projecting to deliver about 100,000 Model S and X vehicles in 2017, which is a 31% increase over last year. They had about 4,820 cars in transit. They do go on to note that Model 3 production was less than anticipated due to production bottlenecks, although they still think they're gonna figure this out. There's no major issues, just a slightly slower ramp than expected. I put it all into graphics and you can see they're delivering more and more cars. This was, I would say, an awesome quarter because they delivered more cars than they've ever delivered in their history as a company. They're doing cars at over 100,000 unit per year run right now with the Model S and X. That is a great sign. Demand is still super healthy for those vehicles despite the fact that people were worried that Model 3 was gonna cannibalize. It doesn't look like that's happening. Awesome news. Now the one bad thing, all the skeptics, all the shorts, I know everybody's gonna be like, oh, but Tesla said they're gonna do like 1500 Model 3s and this is a disaster. They're not gonna hit the 5,000 per week target run rate at the end of the year. Chill out, it doesn't matter. The thesis is still intact. They built a couple hundred instead of 1500. The, it wasn't, it, you know, the Tesla thesis was never a press, like was never hinging on how many cars they delivered this quarter. It's all about whether they can deliver this, the Model 3 with quality and they can eventually get to scale production. Whether it's a month late, whether it's six months late, it's gonna take time. They're doing something that's incredibly tough, which is ramping production of a totally new vehicle from the ground up. They had to install all this new equipment to do it. Tesla always sets such aggressive targets that it never really surprises me to see them miss them. So they did guide about 1500 uh, Model Model 3s would be built or produced in Q3. They only did about 260 built, 220 delivered, so definitely underwhelming. But remember, the, the, the curve starts very, very slow and then ramps up. Maybe they're only a couple weeks behind and that's why they missed the deliveries. Overall, I thought these numbers were pretty good. We saw really healthy demand for Model S and X. Model 3 is gonna take another quarter or two to ramp, but it's still gonna get there eventually. Don't believe what you say in the headlines tomorrow when everybody hates on these numbers. This is gonna be a record revenue for Tesla's automotive business. I guarantee you nobody's gonna be talking about that the company's delivering more cars than they've ever delivered in their whole life. That's a good sign. Anyway, that's my take. That's hyperchange. When Tesla's Q3 financials come out, you know, we're going to have the in-depth conference call, financial analysis. So stick around for that. Um, that'll be out in a couple weeks. Anyway, that's hyperchange. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.